All right, next time we'll, we'll uh, pick up and. He has an ass. <laughs> he has an ass. Garrus ass. has an ass. ass. All you fangirls out there that love Garrus, yes, he has an ass. Shepard no apparently ass. has no ass. So, people, welcome back in my quest to find all the keepers in every Mass Effect game. Uh, I have just got Garrus as a squad mate who is still in the elevator for some reason. Gaten and I have left, but uh, he's in there. He's probably a little disturbed I checked out his ass, but you know. Yeah, check out these things sometimes. Yeah, welcome back. So, Andrew did just uh, give you an update on everything that you missed. So, yeah, go down to the right real quick. We did find out Garrus has an ass in case you missed it. Yes, in case you missed last episode. Um, I will repost that beginning piece just so you guys can see it again. Garrus does have an ass. But, yeah, so there's some more keepers. It's you. No, he will give you, he's a shop person. Apparently, Riley also wants to go outside. I will let him out. Um, if you go back upstairs, you'll get close to Rex and you'll initiate a cutscene. Riley, you can go out or... Okay. He just wants to look. Okay, yeah, so uh, there you go. That's the... Uh, there's the scene. Now we get Rex. Do you want me to arrest you? <laughs> I want you to try. That's my favorite line from the first game. Yeah, right here. I want you to try. He's he's Pop Krogan. I love him. Do I know you, human? You can handle this however you want, honestly. My name's Shepard. I'm going to He's he's awesome. It's Rex. Shepherd. Oh yeah. Shepherd. For those of you that don't know anything about Bioware or their games or anything, they made a game a while ago, a long while ago, uh, way before Mass Effect, and it was called Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. If you haven't heard of it, look it up. We might play it at some point in our run. <laughs> right now, we're turn this off, actually. <laughs> um, but definitely do I like that saying. It's perfect for... Oh... That was one time it was actually perfect. Um, Interesting. So, Ruck, Rux. Ruxin? Wow. Ruxin, yes. Erdnot Rex. Ed. Take away. Ed. <laughs> Take out. Oh, God, that would be frightening. Um, Erdnot oh, Rex is kind of like uh, AK, AK, HK47 from Night Old Republic. Um, in case you wondered. Um, I mean, however, Andrew plans on doing this. Uh, we'll just fast forward through this part. So, yeah, we'll just... I didn't mean you had to physically fast forward through it. I was just going to cut the video and jump ahead. But, I mean, yeah, we, we got this. We're good. All right, so go up the stairs that way. That way. Yeah. Do this, people. We're going to get some more... Guns out. No, we're not doing the shootout yet. Oh, they turn right. I mean, left when I have my gun out. <laughs> That's, That's hilarious. Be a pain in the ass. All right. There are keepers in here. Oh, that's, uh, what's his tits? The, guy, the other guy's, like, threatened to have me killed. Is that the one that says I was threatened? That's the one that was threatened. Hey, you're in my way to turn. I mean, you can talk to him if you want, or you can just finish all the keepers. Uh, I think it's in the next one, but wait. Yeah. Next one is your, uh, Chelik. Ah, this is the guy where I get dinner. Yeah. What the hell were you thinking? <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? Oh, cover. we were trying to help her. You weren't even there. <laughs> I know. I didn't want to tell you that they just act like they know everything the whole time. It's too Get her out. You need to find another way. Oh, it's not that simple, Shepard. Yeah. Oh, yeah it is. <laughs> it's usually it's called fire. Her. I'll take help I mean, work. you're not wrong. It, it is pretty simple, but. They're trying to uncover a smuggling ring and all this other stuff. Weapons dealers and all that. You should go to Eden Prime. They're pretty uh, easy to get people up. Now, are you gonna help me or not? Why not? My things aren't high enough to select these. Apparently not. So, uh, all right, what do you need? I'll help you. I guess we're uh, doing smuggling. Yeah, buddy. We're honorary detectives. 
Do we have a theme song for Honorary Detectives? Is that the name of our show, Honorary Detectives? Yep. Honorary Detectives? So we just never test. I mean, technically, so does that mean we get discounts and get, like, free donuts and shit? Yeah, we do. Hi, Commander Shepard, Earth Alliance Military and Deputy C-Sec Officer. Yes. Uh, can I get a free coffee and donuts? Sir, that's not how this works. Yes, it is. Okay, so when you go up, keep going up. All right, hold on. When I run up the stairs up here, he leans to the right. He does. It's weird. He leans to the right when he goes down, too. Why is he... I don't know. To your right, though, is... A keeper! Oh my god, how am I going to get across this bar to him? You're close enough. Crouch under? No, I won't let you crouch under. Come on, you know this. What if I was bad? Over here? I mean, you can get some more experience points. Small amount, but you get them for clicking on them. They just open up codex things. So I believe if you look at your journal, I think we're pretty close to finishing the keepers. Ah, don't go there. I want to see. Keep going down. Where is... Yep. yep. All we need is one, and I, we will get him at the very end. Don't worry. Because he's hidden right by your ship. And you don't really go there until you've dealt with everything here. So we've got all but one keeper. So if you've been watching the last three episodes, we got all, well, four episodes. We've got all the keepers. We got two, the very first one that we, I mentioned four episodes ago. And now we're going to go kill Fist, and we're going to go steal a gun. Wait, what? <laughs> kill Fist, we're going to go steal a gun. Steal a gun. Yep. I mean, we can if you want. I mean, so want to go. go turn on. Gotta go back to. Actually, you can take the fast travel if you really wanted. But as long as we're going back to Cora's Den, that's all that matters. We gotta go to Cora's Den. Yeah. See if they want to come in. Woo! Out of what the hell we're doing. All right, Cora's Den. Cora's Den. That was, uh... <laughs> yep, the wards. Wards where? Cora's dead. That's where. Yep. yep. And now we've initiated the fist mission. Wow, that sounded really... <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, before you go that way. Before you go that way. Turn around. We can also kill another bird with one stone here. Open that up. We'll deal with this real quickly before we go. Jax. He's the uh, weapons arms dealer. We'll talk to him first. Yeah. Well, I got something for him. Wait. Talk to him first. Because you can't end it in a shootout, but let's let's get there first. And that's when I slice his throat. That's close enough, Army. Is he blue? Do you have the X mods? He actually has... Look at that blue. That's a blue leather, too. I know. I like the blue on his, uh, his headpiece. It's kind of cool. I'm not telling you how to do this. Whoa! Um, Just kidding. Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Why did I turn around? Press Y! Press Y! Right. You surprisingly survived that. Um, I'm the greatest defense leader in the galaxy. How are you surprised at this point? I have nothing. You see me kill that. like all of them with that explosion, and then this first time, not. Uh, I'll explain that here in a second. <laughs> I'm still dumbfounded at the fact that. You nearly died and somehow still survived. Hey. Yeah. I'm just amazing what I do. So time to assault I do Cora's life. dead. Why gives you health if oh, you're low on health? Yeah. yeah. That's why I told you to do it. Um, so, oh, hey, look at this red. Yeah. Take it slowly. That's going to be my best advice. I thought your middle name was blow things up. Hey. Oh, he's back. Take cover. Mm. Well, you, you got him. That's for sure. 
Um, so the Krogan naming system is their name is actually that last part. It's not a last name. It's their name. But their clan name, so their last name is first. So he is Rex of Clan Erdnot. So he's Erdnot Rex. I know. It's it's like that whole, uh, oh gosh, what is it that they do the last name first? Is that Asian culture? I really don't remember. Yeah, I think it's Japanese culture that does that. I don't remember. Yeah, there's a guy up there that will shoot you, but you got to kind of, he doesn't really get behind out from behind that pillar. You kind of have to go into the bar to get him. You just kind of... Was that a regular guy or a little gray alien? I don't know, Richard. Is that kind of a little gray alien? I know. Krogan. Wow. This has to be one of the most interesting... Uh, what the hell? What was that shit? Oh, hey! Someone got my back? Press white! You're giving me my health monitor. I can't do my health. It's behind the computer. <laughs> That's fair. Oh. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, Krogan, when they go down, they don't actually die. Oh, I'll just shoot that guy. They uh, regenerate health, so you have to shoot them double Dump when that. they're down. Up. Wow, that... Despite how terribly shaky it is, you did get them on that one. The first one. Nope, too low. Overheating. Nope, too high. Nope. I got him. <laughs> Team effort counts as me. Oh god. Well, you got that one actually. All right. Did you see we just cleared out the whole bar with the sniper? Yeah. I wish I could tell you that. That's all of them, but. You're you're good for now. You can uncrouch. Uh huh. I'm duck walking my ass in there fifth. <laughs> I do love the awkward movements. I can't shoot. Not yet. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse work. It's your Warehouse choice what you want to do. Stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake or nobody threatened me. I just killed fifty bodyguards to get in here. What do you think? You did not he really over exaggerates. You killed a hundred death and even prime. Maybe about fifty. I just killed fifty bodyguards. There's only about like twelve, thirteen bodyguards in there. It took one sentence, Rex. Did you not see me shoot back there? It definitely would have been longer to kill. Me. <laughs> I mean, with your accuracy, yes. Ooh, weapons locker. Mini game. Hey, hey, why? Because hey. it's Ooh, upgraded weapons. New sniper rifle. And a new shotgun. Oh, and you leveled up, too. Oh, poop. This is awesome. Right, here we go, right. boys. Yep, going into Fist. Now, you can either take down Fist or take down his turrets. Either way, it ends the battle. His turrets? Yeah, he will get turrets here in a second. Enemy is everywhere! Kill him either way, like, if it's the turrets, kill him, too. Yeah, it ends the battle and then Rex will eventually uh, kill him anyway. Uh, wow, you actually got that one on your own. Wow, how much stabilizing that does getting behind cover. All right, so taking fist is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Ooh, I like that red pistol. It's nice. That was one thing I really wish they would have done in the games, was let you customize the color of your weapon. That'd be cool. Yeah. Like, first game, you just get all these weapons, you pick it, whatever. Second game, you get weapons that are basic across the board. And then the third game, you can customize your weapons, which is cool. And some of them mess with the color, which is cool. Um, then I, the fourth one, you can actually make weapons. And I can't remember, I think if you use different materials, it changes the color of the weapons. They got that from their uh, third Dragon Age game, Inquisition, which is awesome. Play it if you haven't played it and you like fantasy games. It's awesome. That will do. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll just continue uh, playing through random games that are long series. And just... Wow, that face was frightening. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. 
I mean, I'd only have jobs half done either. Unless I'm lazy or bored, then I don't. I'll leave it half done. Which is why our last video was only half a video long. What? <laughs> yep. Pick up that. We have four minutes to go find Tally, so I, I suggest you uh, yeah, click that, and then we gotta get moving. We gotta get moving. <laughs> Cause uh, oh wow, that you now you don't have enough on me, Joe. Let's move. All right. With your combat, I would suggest moving faster. Oh. Yeah, yeah, to the right, to the right. Yeah, the left. You got. Are there more people out here? Yeah, yeah. That's why I said you might want to get moving. I wasn't joking. You might want to switch to something a little more accurate and a little more powerful. This is the most accurate kind of That you're accurate with. Oh, cool. <laughs> I mean, you got enemies behind you, too. They're all over. Wow. You crouching actually stabilizes it, so you actually might be able to make it. Oh my. Well, he needs another shot, but... <laughs> did you just... You, did you just throw a grenade right on him? Yep. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. That was beautifully amazing. Alright. Alright. Yep. <laughs> I'll say, will we count that as a left turn? All right, left. There we go. To that back alley that you said surprisingly looks like a good place for a shootout. Good, because shootouts are my middle name. All right, Talizar Naraya, which I can actually explain the naming conventions of the Koreans. The Talia, don't trust him. He's an assassin. That's his name. His name is Assassin. He's the, assassin. he's the professional assassin of Assassinsburg. Hi, boys. Oh, hey. Headshot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. Oh, you are already in combat. Yeah. Wow. I didn't think I was on that long. All right. Whoa. Oh. I don't know if that's gonna blow up while you're in like cutscene talking. I kind of hope. I really wasn't sure. I'm glad it did. Um. Yeah. So we'll uh we'll, we'll finish this out and we'll next video we'll talk to the L4. Yep. We'll and we'll get done with the uh Citadel and we'll. Yeah, we'll pick it up. Carry there. on our wayward sons. There'll be peace when you are done. You're not oh! How do we fast travel the year? I told you! We, we just fast travel right away. Fire fights in the world and all other southern colors. Do you know how many? Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This quarian can help us bring down Sarah. I would have told you that if you had What are your thoughts on Udina? I mean, don't get me wrong, he is an idiot. Maybe but he's also an ass. Miss, Miss, my name is Talizora Naraya. So, yeah, the Korean naming thing. The Nar means that they're a child. And the last name is the ship name. So she is Talizora of the family ship Raya. Her parents' ship is the Raya. So she's a rich girl in the No. Not quite. Not quite. Yeah, she got some nice hair, though. It's a hood. That is legitimately a hood. Well, the Quarians have to live in an exosuit, so the hood makes it look less creepy with, if it was just like a mask. Like, imagine that. It's just like a, a helmet. So she has a hood to make it look kind of cute and nice. But her hood's not attached. It's just a towel. I mean... It's attached to her helmet. It's uh, definitely true. Major victory. Major victory? Major victory. Yeah. Saren's voice. Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. And... 
Saren won't get out of this one. <laughs> Who's Lawrence Fishburne? I don't know, but he looks just like him. Anderson? Yep. What's weird is that it's uh, Keith David. All, all I can think of is uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. The space yeah. yeah. I, I actually have to give that to you. I didn't think about that before. Event Horizon. Yes. That's the movie. Yep. That's totally him. Yep. Don't put that together. Yep. But yeah, we definitely uh. Keith David is the voice of Admiral Anderson. Catman, sorry. Not to be confused. David. David. Who's David Keith? White actor. You'd recognize him. He's one of those actors. Ah, one of those. Yes. I love that every time I hear Keith David speak, I just think of the Arbiter. Because that came first for me, and then it's like, oh yeah, he's Captain Anderson too. And they live, and so many other things. He's been in a lot. It's, he really has! And people still don't know who he is. So I was like, yeah, that, that black guy. Which one? <laughs> That's my favorite question when everyone says, you know, that black actor. Which one? Are you talking about Keith David? Are you talking about Samuel L. Jackson? Are you talk- like, who are you talking about? There's multiple black actors out there. Martin Lawrence. Oh, yeah. Oh. I wasn't going to say Martin Lawrence, but yeah. Uh, Lawrence Fishbourne. Uh, Denzel Washington, which most white people actually at least know because he's won an Oscar, I think. Martin Lawrence. Is he even alive anymore? I, actually, I don't know. Alexa, is Martin Lawrence dead? Well, thank you, technology and Alexa. We now know that uh, Martin Lawrence is, in fact, alive and 54 years old. Thank you, Alexa. Goodbye. I don't know how it worked. I'm not going to ask how technology worked. But yeah, so... Uh, I have no idea we can ask if people were alive. Yeah, that, I, I'm surprised that worked. All right, yeah. No, oh, he's alive. So uh, next time we will uh, we'll pick up we'll finish up the Citadel. All right.